You would think a group called Girls on the Run would be all about running, but it's so much more than that. Girls on the Run Hampton Roads helps students gain the skills to grow emotionally, socially, and physically to fully unlock each girl's power and potential. Twice a week through the fall season, 167 girls participated in the after-school club at General Stanford, Greenwood, Heidenwood, Jenkins, Johnson, Knollwood Meadows, McIntosh, Richneck, and Sedgefield Elementary Schools. Coaches consisting of school staff, community volunteers, and CNU members of Gamma Phi Beta Sorority led the student teams through dynamic lessons, team building exercises, fun games, and training runs, all designed to equip each girl to develop strength of character, empathy and compassion for others, decision-making skills, and confidence in who they are. By sharing life experiences and talking about their emotions honestly, the girls grow closer as a team, creating lasting friendships and building a faithful support network to lean on when life gets tough. For the adult coaches, the experience is just as rewarding as they impact the lives of these young ladies in a positive way. Girls on the Run also reinforces community involvement empowering the girls to use the social and emotional skills they've developed by serving others. On each team, the students choose their own community impact project, such as General Stanford's team making handmade holiday cards in December for military personnel and educators. After 11 weeks of meeting, growing, and training, Girls on the Run Hampton Roads hosted their culminating event, a celebratory 5K race at Mariner's Museum. With Girls on the Run at many schools across Hampton Roads, almost 2,200 runners gathered to run the 3.1 mile course, with many more family members, educators, and community volunteers cheering on the runners. Each girl selected a buddy to run alongside, with many girls choosing a family member or their favorite teacher to share in the momentous occasion. While physically running a 5K race as an elementary student is an accomplishment all its own, the excitement of crossing the finish line is just the start. Girls on the Run has equipped these young ladies with the skills, knowledge, and tools to navigate life's ups and downs, since every lesson taught can be utilized in all areas of their lives. From here, these girls will continue to reach for seemingly unattainable goals with confidence and their friends' support as they reach their highest potential. Luckily, for second grade students at Carver and Hilton Elementary Schools, swimming in the winter doesn't have to be a polar plunge. Not when you have access to an indoor heated pool at the Y. Newport News Public Schools has partnered with the YMCA this school year to offer second grade Learn to Swim for students at Carver and Hilton. From November through February, each second grade class from both schools took turns traveling to the Tom and Ann Honeycutt Family YMCA along Warwick Boulevard for their swim lessons. For the students, the entire experience was free. Transportation between the Y and school was provided. There was no cost for the swim lessons or pool access. And if students didn't have a bathing suit, the YMCA kindly provided them. Each class spent an hour a day for four days, receiving lessons on water safety, floating, going underwater, jumping in, and generally building more confidence in the water. On the first day of the week, each student was personally evaluated and then placed in one of three groups based on their swimming level. YMCA's certified staff and volunteers created a caring and safe environment for each student helping them overcome their fears and build competency in swimming. With drowning being the second leading cause of unintentional death among children ages 5 to 14, it's important for our students to receive this unique learning opportunity, especially with our city's geographical location on a peninsula. After this year's successful pilot program, even more students across Newport News Public Schools will hopefully receive these important lessons from the YMCA in the coming years. For over a decade, Computer Science Education Week has allowed students to enjoy valuable hands-on experiences 
and learn firsthand the importance of gaining computing skills as they prepare for their future careers. At Heinz Middle School, educators spent the first week in December offering a variety of computer science themed activities for all students to explore new technologies. ISTEM instructor Hannah Cagle worked with librarian Caitlin McCoy and instructional technology coach Kirsten Vandegrift to create fun and engaging learning opportunities. Each day, interested students headed to the library during their resource block to design a keychain using a 3D printer, code with Lego robots, or create and print their own custom decals using Canva and Cricut. Through each activity, students learned how to use new software, web-based apps, and computer coding. Educators guided students through each lesson, while students from the school's own robotics team gladly shared their knowledge and expertise with their peers. Through many of the activities, students walked away with a custom token. But more importantly, they gained new knowledge and an appreciation for the field of computer science. Newport News students are assisting Christopher Newport University as they transform the fear of climate change into hope founded on science-based solutions. With rising sea levels, deforestation of the Atlantic white cedar, and the formation of ghost forests as biodiverse coastal ecosystems die off, CNU's Fear to Hope project is focused on engaging and mentoring high school students in authentic research efforts to study how Atlantic white cedar saplings are affected by salt water. By working alongside high school students in five different school systems, CNU hopes to increase their ability to collect research data while empowering students to gain valuable workplace skills. In Newport News Public Schools, an achievable dream is continuing their partnership that began in 2021, while Woodside High School is joining the project for the first time this school year. CNU biology students visit each high school throughout the school year to explain the purpose of their joint research project, engage the students in the process, and record measurements as the seedlings grow. Once the Atlantic white cedars adjusted to their transplanting, the students began introducing different concentrations of salt water to simulate the rise of ocean waters. Students measure the growth and appearance of the seedlings periodically to see how well they respond to salt intrusion. By collecting this data at numerous high schools, students are gaining real-world experience through meaningful research while using the scientific method to better understand the resiliency of coastal forests against the negative effects of climate change.